Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. Today I want to talk a little bit about the advantages of owning a nice press like the George Knight Press. One of the advantages, it's a digital press. The good news is most modern presses, particularly if they're U.S. made, um, are digital. And what we can do with a digital press is we can do a little bit of magic in calibrating the press. So what I've got in front of me is two methods of calibrating the press. These both measure temperature. This is called a digital pyrometer and we do sell these. This is a, essentially a, a digital candy thermometer I picked up on eBay. And Doug DeWitt's got a great video on how to measure the platen temperature with these kinds of, of uh, temperature measuring devices. What I want to do in this video is I want to give you just a quick overview of once you know what the temperature is that you've measured, um, how do you change the front panel of the printer, excuse me, got printer on my mind, how do you change the front panel of the heat press to essentially agree with what you have measured? So, so let me say that one more time. So when you look at the front panel of the heat press, it, it says a temperature. Well, let's say you measure that using these, you know, so forth, and let's say it's off 10 degrees. So let's say it's off, let's say it's, um, it's saying 400, but it's really 390. Well, what do you do? Well, the good news is you can go into the programming mode of the heat press, and you can tell it that the display um, is, is um, reading incorrectly, and you can actually adjust the display so that it's correct. Now, when do you need to do this kind of stuff? Well, I recommend you calibrate your heat press when you first get it. It ought to make sense. And then I recommend you recalibrate, say, every six months because during the use of the press, heating up, cooling down, those kinds of things, the press can get off a little bit. And again, this is one of the great advantages to having such a nice press as the George Knight heat press. Um, so let's go over and take a look at the display and I'll show you how to do it. So for illustration purposes, we have the press is turned on, warmed up, and it says 400 degrees, but when we measure it, it's 390 degrees, meaning it's reading 10 degrees too hot. So first step is you turn the press off, and then you'll hold down the temperature and programming key, and while you're holding them down, turn on the press it's going to enter a service mode in just a second it's going to show us the menu that we need to see there we go so it's showing offset zero so that indicates that that there is no adjustment or change in what it displays so what we do at this point in time is we're going to go our down arrow key and we're going to set an offset, loud buzzer, isn't it? Um, offset of minus 10. So that means we want the display to read a lower value. So we're going down. So we know the difference between 400 and 390 is 10. So that's what we're doing. So after we've set that, we push the programming key until the printer, until, excuse me, the heat press enters normal mode. That's it. So now the display is, is going to read 10 degrees cooler than it normally would. One of the great reasons to calibrate your press is to optimize the success of the reveal transfer film. The reveal is a breakthrough in technology for sublimation to cotton and we really need it to be the correct temperature uh, to be successful with the reveal. I have a PDF of all these instructions and if that's easier for you please email us at saleshelp at condi.com and we'll get it right out to you. If you have any questions, concerns, or need some help you can always email support at condi.com or simply call us. Till we meet again, David Gross, Condi Systems, thank you. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. 
Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.